With the AT&T Byron Nelson just around the corner, let's break down my top options for DFS over on FanDuel. At the top, we got to go with Scotty Scheffler, especially in cash games. Scheffler just on a heater of all legends right now at $12,100. He got those four wins this year, including over at the Masters. And it's hard to dismiss that for cash games. And Scheffler has a profile you want for TPC Craig Ranch. Specifically, he makes a lot of birdies because you got to go low here. And Scheffler does lead a field in birdies are better gained across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. And Scheffler has also been just the best golfer the past six months per data golf's true strokes gained. So he makes birdies. He's very good. I can't nitpick this at 12-1. Scheffler, to me, has to be the building block for cash games, whereas for tournaments, you do have leeway to pivot to Justin Thomas or someone else. In the mid-range, Maverick McNeely grades out well at $9,700. McNeely is not a bomber, and I do want distance a lot at this course, but he's also not short. He ranks 48th in distance gained across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. And McNeely makes birdies despite the fact he doesn't get a ton of distance off the tee. He ranks 7th in birdies or better gained across that time because, in part, he's a very good bent grass putter, which should benefit him for this week. McNeely also ranks 34th in approach, so good approach player. He's not short off the tee. He makes birdies via his putting game. I think McNeely is a priority play for me at $9,700 given the building blocks for upside that he possesses. As far as value plays go, I want to go with Patton Kazire at $9,000. Kazire is a well-rounded golfer considering the tier that he is in for this week. Kazire ranks 31st in approach the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He's not super long, but he does have some distance. He can make some birdies, not a bad putter. So what you're getting with Kazire is the sum of the parts. And the sum of the parts is a good golfer. Now, the sum of the parts has not led to a high-end finish for Kazire in quite some time. He's not finished better than 10th since back in the fall. But Kazire does have the ability to go low, and that's what I want here at $9,000. So with Kazire, I want to look beyond just the finishes and see that he's a well-rounded golfer who can do some stuff really well. I think that could lead to a good finish at some point in the very near future, and it could very well be this week. So Kazire, $9,000, a good way to give yourself salary flexibility to get to the stud like Scotty Scheffler and Justin Thomas. That's all we that we have here for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up, but another PGA major just around the corner, so make sure you stay tuned to the FanDuel social channels for more FanDuel Hurry Up next week.